So we're at the GDC show floor. Uh, behind me is the NeuroSky booth where you can play some mind games. Uh, in fact, I was just uh, blowing up some uh, spaceships with my awesome brain powers. Uh, there's also an iPhone game where you can uh, play Tag of Mind with your friends. And uh, some kind of uh, uh, software that sees if you have a similar brain pattern to your friend. Uh, so anyway, it's like a headset where you have a, well, there's something that you point on your ear and your forehead and it measures your brainwave activity. So you don't really control like a pointer on the screen, but you, it's your level of concentration, you can say, that, that sort of dictates uh, what happens. So for instance, when you blow up the spaceships, you point with a Wiimote towards the screen and then you uh, use your mind to make them blow up. And uh, it's an interesting, uh, interesting technology. Um, and uh, I suppose that in the future we might be playing games with our minds. It's not quite there yet where it's, where it's at a level that, that makes, uh, makes it that exciting to sort of... The applications aren't really there yet to be, to become a, to be a true, true gaming experience. It's more like uh, tech demos. And, and, but it's interesting to see where, uh, where this could be headed. Right now, the, the headset that we were playing with back there is about $200. So it's getting into a price range where it's actually feasible to be making games for it and uh, to, to, for it to be commercially viable. But we'll see if, uh, if this is the, the next thing after motion controllers, which motion controllers, of course, uh, with, with Sony's announcement here at GDC being one of the big talking points uh, of the show. Uh, but perhaps... Uh, we won't have to move that much longer.